Hi guys, it's Tuesday. I'm knelt down, which isn't very good because it really hurts my knees on this floor. But anyway, um, yeah, it's Tuesday and today we are going to Blakemere to see my cabinet. I don't even know what is going on really. I'm going to have to just say, you know, I'm going to say to the woman there, hopefully it's the woman who actually like organises it all that's there. Um, I think she's called Victoria, that's it. Um, but yeah, I hope she's there because then I can just say to her, look, I'm being quite honest, I've tried all I can with a cabinet, I've tried different prices, I've tried different items, I've tried rearranging the things in the cabinet, all that sort of stuff, and I'm just not seeing the results uh, that I'd like to. And um, hopefully she'll be able to maybe sort something out. If not, hopefully in the next few weeks someone will pull out inside and I can get inside and I can try that. Um, I'm really... I'm just with, I'm, I'm in two minds about just pulling out for the moment and then getting on the waiting list and saying, when, when I'm on the waiting list, just saying um, to her basically, don't give me a cabinet unless it's an inside one, an indoor one, because I just don't think anyone can make money on those outdoor ones. I really don't. I've tried so much um, with regards to different inventory, with different prices. I've tried really, really low value items in there on, you know, a bit of quantity. Um, and I've tried slightly higher value items in there and just it just isn't working. I've tried attractive looking items I've tried vintage toys in there. I've tried ceramics I've tried brassware and metalware and things like that and it just you know I, There are things going there are things selling, but it's just not at the rate I'd like so I'm gonna go down there I'm gonna see what's what and I'll just have to update you uh, as you know as we go along and then after that We are going into town as usual and uh, pick up a few things from the charity shops, really. I don't even need them at all, but, you know, we'll do that. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to film... The reason I'm filming, filming this introduction now is because I'm not going to film in the car because down the bypass, it'll just be, you know, like, really shaky again. So I'm not going to do that. I have got my eye on a rather expensive camera mount, um, but obviously, you know, it's, it's about 70 quid or something, but for what it is, you know, just a little camera mount for in the car... It's quite a lot to pay for for just that, so I have got my eye on it, but um, we'll see. That might come in the future, but if I do get that, then it will reduce shaking down to a bare minimum, and I'll be doing a lot more videos in the car because it's cool, because it's like American Pickers style videos, and I think a lot of people like to watch that sort of content, and especially if you throw a bit of comedy in and stuff like that, it really uh, makes for a good video. So, yeah, anyway, I'll leave that, guys, and I'll see you in a minute. Hi guys, so we are at um, Blakemere now. I've just been to the office just to sort of explain my situation with uh, one of the ladies in there. And uh, unfortunately, like the main girl who, uh, well, sort of who organises it um, isn't in today. She's actually on annual leave. But I sort of explained my uh, situation. Uh, I told her what's been going on over the last few months. I've told her that it's not really um, been a, a, a profitable business venture for me and just explained where I was at really. So, um, unfortunately, she couldn't really give me much information that I didn't already know or anything like that. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go inside the antique centre, see how much money I've earned for my cabinet in the last month um, and I really just don't know what to do. I'm, I am still first on the list, she told me that, for getting a cabinet indoors, but I think the only way I'm going to make this a profitable venture with the actual cabinet is um, obviously getting inside and changing that location, because at the moment I just think that people outside are just walking past my cabinet into the antique antique center and i might catch someone's eye and maybe make a sale here and there and that seems to be what's happening so um yeah i don't know what to do i'm in a bit of a situation but you know hopefully someone will pull out i'll be able to get inside that in antique center very very soon and maybe we'll see how that goes and if that goes better then it, it might it might be fine it might all work out a lot better in the next few months if it if that doesn't happen after a couple of months then it's just going to have to be one of those ventures that I tried but didn't particularly uh, succeed in the way I'd like it to. So, yeah, but I'm always going to try new things. I'm always going to, um, you know, 
try new things with antiques in the future and different ways of selling them. So, yeah, anyway, I'll, I'll go around the antique centre. Obviously, I'll um, get a little bit of footage while I'm in there because I always have a browse around the antique centre uh, when I get my uh, payment for the uh, sales in my cabinet. So I'll do that and give you a look around there. So, yeah, see you in a minute. So it looks like maybe a couple of items are sold. I mean, there's a big gap there. I think there's a Ferrari there. And one of the horse brasses is gone. We've only got two quid each on them though. Um, and yeah, I think, may I think maybe that's it. But yeah, at least there's a couple of sales anyway. Don't know, there might be something else. But yeah, so that's my cabinet anyway as it stands. I have, obviously, last time you saw it, it might have looked a bit different because I've, you know, obviously uh, swapped a few bits out. I've put a couple of them hand carved figures in there, I've only put 8 quid on them, you know, I think that's a really fair price for what they are, so, yeah, that's the cabinet anyway, and a few bits have actually sold, or a couple of bits have. Right then, we are in town now, we've left the cabinet um, and fingers crossed we get a call about that uh, sometime soon and we can go inside. Um, we're off for lunch now, where are we going? Brats. We're going brats, yeah, going for brats. lunch. We're having a tuna jacket potato. Yeah, we love that in there, so yeah, we're going to get some lunch uh, because it's about half twelve and uh, then we're going to go, right, well I'm going to go around the charity shop, so you're going to Sainsbury's aren't you? I am. I'm going so to you're going to do the food shop in Sainsbury's? Somebody's birthday's next week. Yeah, don't remind me. I don't. I don't want to be 22. I don't want to be 22. <laughs> but um, yeah, so we're gonna do that, and then I'll get a bit of footage around the charity shops and uh, show you a bit of the stuff that I've got as well. Because um, we've already been to one in Hartford, haven't we? One charity yeah. shop, got a few things, a and um, yeah, and um, yeah. So and then I'll leave the video there. So I'll, I'll do a bit of footage around the charity shop, do a bit of a haul, and uh, that'll be it. So. Hope you enjoy, guys. just realised as well, I will actually add in after this clip um, a little clip that I did for my mum um, when I was cleaning out my lock up and sorting out the lock up um, I went down there the other day and um, obviously what I did was did a little bit of a video um, to show my mum how it had been sorted out 
Um, but then I thought to myself, actually what I can do is just use that video to show you guys so that then I don't have to go back down there anytime in the next few days uh, just specifically to show you how it's been sorted out because I know a lot of you are interested. So uh, yeah, next clip will be uh, me at my lockup yesterday. It's nothing spectacular but I've thrown a couple of shelves up, a couple of uh, smaller um, black shelves that I had in the garage. So um, yeah, I'll just throw that, up, uh, throw that video up next. Right then, I've done the lock up, so uh, here you can have a look. So there it is there. So we've got nothing on the floor down here, nothing all the way around here. I'll step in and show you. We've got the rack in there. We've got those boxes neatly stacked there. That's the Lego on top. That's from Paul, Ghostbusters Firehouse. We've got this down here. We've got the military clothing, big box there. Lego and then some other bits. And then that's from Paul as well there. And then that's the auction, the Disney stuff. And then that's that, and then that's the uh, bush. So yeah, pretty cool. I'm really, really happy with that. So if you saw my collection video uh, yesterday, uh, well, hopefully it will have been uploaded yesterday, you'll know that I have quite a lot of Lego. So I'm banning myself from buying Lego for the next week or so. Just because I need a little bit of uh, a non-buying period so I'm going to do that this week although I am going to go into Sainsbury's now anyway just so I can at least glance at some sets I'm not going to buy any but I'm going to I just I just need to get my fix so I'm going to at least glance at some sets in there right then so we are back now and today was a very very poor day around the charity shops I did get a few boxes while we were in town um, so, you know, it wasn't a complete loss, and I got a few bits, but nothing amazing. I got these uh, Corsa Come On things. Um, now, I've seen these used loads of times in charity shops, but I don't really bother with them. But I've never seen them in this like these little boxes, you know, brand new in these boxes. Uh, it's like a car seat. It's like a car seat box with this seat belt around him. Um, and then I got two of these. Now, I don't know. I'm going to probably shoot for about 20 quid plus postage on a pair. I've, I've not seen any go with these boxes, but I've not really looked that hard in the charity shop. I'm going to have to do a bit more research. Paid two fifty for him, and I think this one was three fifty because it had the extra one inside it. I think that tucks in like in there or something. Um, but yeah, so six quid into twenty pound plus postage. It's not too bad. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to take a punt on them because I've never seen them, uh, you know, in these boxes brand new. Um, I got two DVDs, of which were £1 each. Iron Giant, uh, new and sealed. Uh, that goes for 16 quid on Amazon. And then I'm probably going to keep this one, which is uh, brand new and sealed. Doctor Who, uh, Genesis of the Daleks. So basically, I'll sell that. Uh, for 16 quid and then basically I've made profit on it anyway so then that means that I can keep this anyway um, yeah it says obviously there Doctor Who number one story ever uh, it was voted by I don't know whether it was by fans or whoever that it was the number one story personally I don't think it is I think there are a few stories that can contend with it but you know it still is an amazing story and obviously it's first appearance of Davros there. And I love this cover art as well. So yeah. I'm trying to collect. This is the first one I've got. Um, but I'm trying to collect all these. Not necessarily brand new and sealed. I mean I just want to collect all these. Uh, with this cover here specifically. Uh, this Doctor Who cover here. This grey cover. And I want to collect the entire classic run. Um, so yeah. If you ever see any in, in charity shops. I'll pay you. You know, I'll pay your retail price for them, but yeah, if you ever see them in charity shops, then I'd really appreciate it. Pick them up and then give me a message, and obviously uh, I'll pay you the retail price for them, and then you can ship it out to me. So, yeah, I, I basically got you a bit of free money there. So, yeah, if you ever see uh, any of these, I'm your buyer. I'm your buyer. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. So, um, and it was extra cool, but it was brand new and sealed. Anyway, I'll stop rambling about Doctor Who now. So, that is it. Thank you for watching. Actually, I'll flip you around. So that is it. Thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, as always, give it a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, off to do some packaging now. So I will leave it there. See you very soon, guys.